Welcome to Grayon Math. In this problem, we are asked to solve for C1, C2, and C3. In the figure below, five circles are tangent to the line L. Each circle is externally tangent to two other circles. Suppose that circles A and B have radii 4 and 225, respectively. What? And that C1, C2, C3 are congruent circles. Find their common ratios. Okay, so notice that in this figure, I have already drawn two perpendicular lines against side L, which is the radius of circle A and the radius of circle B, respectively. And for circle A, the perpendicular line to L is the radius, which is actually 4. And for the circle B, it is actually 225. And we are to find actually the horizontal distance from the two circles. And let us call that as x. Okay. And the hypotenuse of the resulting right triangle is actually this distance for plus 225 225 with the, then the total is 229 and notice on the perpendicular line towards l for circle b we notice that the total length is 225 and and we are actually just using the distance here, which is 225 minus 4, and that is 221. Um, and next step, we use the Pythagorean theorem since we already know the sides of the right triangle we formed. So it would be 200. 29 squared equal to x squared plus 225 minus 4, which is 221 squared. And x squared becomes 229 squared minus 221 squared. It can be written as 229 plus 221 times 229 minus 221 and the x squared is equal to 450 times 8 and the x squared is equal to 3600 and if we take the square root of both sides, we have x equal to 16. Okay, so next thing that we have to do is we need to focus on the circle A and circle C1. Notice that I have already drawn the vertical line, which is perpendicular to L, to the center of A. And this distance here is actually since this is the radius of the circle A and this distance is actually again 4 and we call the radius of circle C1 as R so this distance will be 4 plus R and for one leg of this triangle, since the radius is for the vertical, and we need to subtract R here. So this is for minus R, and this is a right triangle. So if we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem because it forms a right triangle, the equation would be 4 plus R square equals 
or minus r will plus the distance and the horizontal distance between the uh, circle A and C1, let us call that as A. So this would be a, a square. So if we take the square of the left hand side, we have 16 plus 4 times 2, which is 8, R plus R square equal to 16 minus 8 R plus R square plus A square. Okay, so we have to cancel 16 cancels out and R square cancels out. And we have, if we put 8R to the left hand side, we have 16R equal to A square. And if we simplify this, we have A is equal to 16, square root of 16R or A is equal to 4 square root of R. Okay, so next thing that we have to do is we need to focus on circle B and the circle C3. Okay, so it is given that the radius of circle B is 225. And we actually already drawn a vertical line which is perpendicular to L to the center of the circle B and that is 225. And this is, if we project a line also, which is vertical from the center of circle C3, it is R. And if that distance is R, then this is R. Then this distance here is actually 225 minus R. Okay, and next is I also draw draw a line in from the center of B to center of C3, and this distance is actually 225. And the radius of circle C3 is R, so the total distance is 225 plus R. And for the horizontal distance of this triangle, we let this as B. And this is also a right triangle. Okay. So now we are ready to use the Pythagorean theorem. And because it is a right triangle. So we have 225 plus R square, which is the hypotenuse, is equal to uh, 225 minus R square plus b square okay so simplifying the left hand side we have 225 square plus 450 r plus r square equals 225 square minus 450 r plus r square plus b square and actually 225 square cancels out and same with r squared and if we put the negative 450 on on the right hand side to the left hand side we have 450r plus 450r equal to b squared and it becomes b squared equals 900r and if we take the square root of both sides then we have B is equal to 30 square root of R. Okay, so next thing that we have to do is we need to recall that this distance is 60. And this distance A is 4 square root of R. And this distance B is 30 square root of R. And this distance is actually 4R. Okay. Because there are four times the radius here for R. So we can equate this. This would be equal to A plus 
plus b plus 4r equal to 60. And a being 4 square root of r plus 30 square root of r plus 4r is equal to 60. And if we let square root of r is equal to m, and r will, will be m squared. And we have now 4m plus 30m plus 4m squared is equal to 60. Then we have here, simplifying further, we have 4m squared plus 34m minus 60 equal to 0. And if we multiply this by one half, we have 2m squared plus 17m minus 30 equal to 0, a quadratic equation. Okay, so next thing that we have to do is we just need to solve the resulting quadratic equation. So next thing is we just need to multiply to the numerical coefficient of the first term to the third term. Then we have a square plus 17 m minus 60 equals 0. Then we can factor this quadratic equation. Then we have m plus 20 times m minus 3 equal to 0. And since we multiply by 2, then we divide by 2. So we have n plus 10 times 2n minus 3 equal to 0. So we have two solutions. That is n plus 10 is equal to 0 and 2n minus 3 equal to 0. And for the first solution, we have n plus is equal to negative 10. And the other one is n equal to 3 over 2. Right. Notice that we will be only taking this solution, this 3 halves, simply because if we square this m, as negative 10, it would result as r is equal to negative 10 squared. It will become 100. And 100 can never be an answer because it is larger than 4. The circles, if we try to apply logic, then the circles as shown should have a radius which is less than 4. And of course, less than the larger circle. So the more logical answer would be the second one. But actually, r is equal to m squared. So r is equal to 3 over 2 squared. So r is equal to 9 all over 4 units. And this answer is actually not greater than 4, since it should be smaller than 4. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching. Until the end of the video, please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.